హలో మై డియర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెరీ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు యూ ఆల్ అండ్ మై సెల్ఫ్ డాక్టర్ ఎంహెచ్ చెన్నయ్య ఫార్మర్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ అట్ డాక్టర్ శివకుమార మహాస్వామి కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ బ్యాంగ్లూర్ అండ్ ప్రెసెంట్లీ ఐఎమ్ వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ వైస్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ అట్ సప్తగిరి కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ బ్యాంగ్లూర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇన్ టుడే సెషన్ వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు స్టడీ ఏ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఆన్ a double riveted bird giant with double cover plates of equal width when i say a bird giant you know very well from the previous sessions we had before that the plates to be riveted are brought end to end and by making use of two cover plates or two bird strap one at the top of the plate and the other at the bottom we are going to have number of rows of rivets depending on the problem friends in the present problem we have to design a double riveted bird giant with two cover plates this is one cover plate and at the top there will be one more cover plate and these are the two plates are butt against each other and friends in this problem they have given that the diameter Uh, the sorry the thickness of the plates to be riveted is 10 mm thick so these two plates plate 1 and plate 2 they are have 10 mm thickness and making use of two rows of rivet double riveted means there will be two rows of rivets on each plate to make the giant simply here i have shown on only one plate identical arrangement of rivets will be there in the second plate also which i have not shown here friends uh, when they say design the total procedure in the design includes basically finding out the diameter of the rivet required number 2 the various values of pitches such that such as the longitudinal pitch p the row pitch or the transverse pitch pt then you have the margin that is the distance from the center of the rivet to the nearest edge of the plate like this then you will have to find out what is the efficiency of the whole system and also and what type of failure the rivets undergo friends if you refer to the data handbook on this chapter riveted giants you have to search in that table the required giant so here i have selected a double riveted bird giant with chain riveting because they have not specified whether it has to be a chain riveted giant or a zigzag riveted giant so when that is the case the students or the designers have the choice to select either lab either the chain riveting or the zigzag riveting so i have selected here chain riveting arrangements only friends as usual after selection of the proper joint is made from the data handbook you have to start with finding out the diameter of the rivet friends to find out the diameter of the rivet d you know you have to compare h the thickness of the plates to be riveted with the standard value 8 mm that the h is given to be equal to 10 mm which is greater than 8 mm and hence you can straight ahead use the formula d is equal to 0.2 times root h where this d and h diameter of the rivet and the plate thickness are in meter so this is going to be 0.2 multiplied by square root of h is 10 mm divided by 1000 so this will give you 0.02 meter in other words it will have a value equal to 20 mm so this 20 when you refer to the standard table wherein you have the standard sizes of the rivets you have d is equal to 10 to mm and the corresponding value of dh the diameter of the hole to be drilled in the plate is 21 mm so successfully we have completed finding out the important parameter the diameter of the rivet and that works out to 20 mm and this is a standard size and it is available in the market so i will say it is a standard size of the rivet 
that can be used in the joint next friends you will have to find out in the second step what are the values of the pitches namely the longitudinal pitch p the row pitch or the transverse pitch pt comma the margin and also the thickness of the cover plates h1 and h2 h2 is the thickness of the cover plate the wider cover plate h1 is the thickness of this small width cover plate m is the margin so we are going to find out all these parameters one by one friends let me start with the calculation of this p the longitudinal pitch and friends as you know very well from the previous sessions we had to find out this value of p irrespective of the arrangement of rivets or the type of rivets we are going to equate the resistance offered by the rivets to shear to the strength of the perforated plate that is the plate with the holes drilled in it so to find out this p i am going to equate f to that is the shear resistance of the rivets to the strength of the perforated plates which i represent it as f theta dash friends you know very well this f to the resistance offered by the rivets to shearing is found out by multiplying the total area of the rivets which fall under one pitch length in a plate by the shear strength of the rivets or shear stress will give you the f to so i will say here this is i multiplied by pi d square by 4 this will give you the total area into tau the shear stress is equal to p the longitudinal pitch minus d into h into sigma theta these are the equations we are going to use to find out p friends here you should know very well what is i so finding out i is very very important and if you go wrong in finding out the correct value of i and there won't be any marks awarded in the examination so what is i friends you know in this particular problem we are using double riveted bur joint with two cover plates which have got equal width so in such a case we know very well that all the rivets which fail they fail by double shear only so to find out i which is equal to i2 here i am going to consider one pitch length that is p as shown here so friends in this pitch length you have under row 1 half plus half so there is one rivet here which fails by double shear similarly in the second row r2 also we have half plus of one rivet failing by double shear so i will say this i is equal to 2 that means there are two rivets in a single pitch on each plate which fail by double shear and you should remember that a rivet failing by double shear is twice as strong as a rivet failing by single shear but in actual practice it has been found that a rivet failing by double shear is only 1.875 times stronger than a rivet failing by single shear and hence whatever the number of rivets you get here per pitch length on each plate we are going to multiply that by 1.875 so friends this only for the curiosity i'm just telling you all this otherwise this value is straight ahead available in the data handbook and now friends i am going to substitute in place of this i a value equal to two number of rivets multiplied by 1.875 that is total i into pi by 4 into the diameter we got is 20 mm square shear strength is 60 that is equated to p minus d d is 20 we know and the value of h is 10 multiplied by sigma theta 
the tensile strength is given to be 80 MPa. So friends, after you substitute and evaluate the value of P, the value of P, the longitudinal pitch works out to 108.36, 108.36 millimeter. So friends, we are able to find out the longitudinal pitch of this particular joint as 1.8.36. So after calculating the value of this pitch, let us calculate what is PT. PT is the transverse pitch, which is also called as the row pitch or in simple terms, it is the horizontal between distance between inner two rows of rivet. This is the transverse pitch PT and in all the joints of lap type or the butt type, whenever the arrangement of rivets is chain, we have this value of PT is equal to 2D, 2 times the diameter of the rivet. Hence it is 2 into 20 which is equal to 40 mm. So P and PT you are able to evaluate. Then comes the margin. Margin friends, you know very well it's always 1.5D, whatever may be the type of giant, whatever may be the arrangement of rivets or the number of rows of rivets arranged is always 1.5 times D, that is 1.5 times the diameter of the rivet is 20. So this works out to 30 mm. Finally, in these bud giants, apart from these pitches diameter, you will have to find out what is the size of this cover plate H1 and H2. So in a bud giant which is made using two cover plates of equal width, in the tabular column you find this value as H1 that is the thickness of the less wide cover plate is equal to H2. Both will have the same width that is given as 0.625 times H where H is the thickness of the plates to be riveted. So 625 multiplied by 10 mm that is given in the question and hence this works out to 6.25 millimeter. So friends, we have found out the diameter of the rivet as 20 mm, the corresponding hole dia 21 mm, the various values of pitch, the longitudinal pitch, the transverse pitch, the margin and the thickness of the cover plates. Then we will move to the last step in the design of this riveted joint that is to find the efficiency of the riveted joints. Friends, you have got three different efficiencies, namely the plate efficiency eta p, the rivet efficiency eta r and the efficiency in crushing eta c. So let us find out these one by one. To start with, let me find out a, the eta p. Eta p is the efficiency of the plate is given by the formula. I told you it is like once again universal. It is p minus b by p multiplied by 100. You know the value of p. This is 108.36, 108.36 minus 20 divided by 108.36 and to be multiplied by 100 to convert this into percentage efficiency. That works out to 81.543. 81.543. So I will just record here, eta p as 81.543, 81.543% and then b, we are going to find out what is eta r, that is the efficiency of the rivets, that is given by i pi d square by 4 into tau divided by the strength of the solid plate that is p h sigma theta. So i is two rivets are there, each rivet is 1.875 times stronger than a rivet failing by single shear. Hence I am going to multiply here, multiplied by pi by 4, diameter is 20, 20 square into 60 
divided by pH sigma theta P is 108.36 108.36 multiplied by 10 mm the plate thickness multiplied by the tensile strength is 80 MPi given in the question and this works out to 81.5405 81.5405 percent so i will just record it here 81.5405 so this is 81.5405 percent friends you can observe how close these values are finally friends we will have to find out or calculate eta c which is equal to so i2h plus i1h2 multiplied by d into sigma c divided p into h into sigma theta. Friends here, you should know what is i2 and i1. Here friends, in this but giant with two cover plates of equal width, i2 we have calculated as 2. Remember, this is only crushing resistance don't multiply by 1.875 that is considered only when you take up the case of shear multiplied by the thickness of the cover plate is 10 mm plus i1 no rivet fails by single shear and hence this quantity is zero i'll just remove this this is zero multiplied by d 20 sigma c compressive strength is 120 mpa divided by P is 108.36 multiplied by 10 mm thickness of the plate multiplied by sigma theta 80 mp. Friends, if you calculate this, this works out to 55.37, 55.37 percentage. Friends, I will just record it as 55.37. So, this is 55. 0.37 percent. Friends, we have successfully calculated the three different values of efficiencies in a riveted joint. So here if you observe friends, eta P is 81.543, eta R is 81.5405. That's why I told you in one of the previous sessions that this value of eta p and eta r should be calculated up to four decimal place of accuracy so that you will know exactly whether the mode by which it fails is by shear or by tearing so friends here if you just compare these three efficiencies you find that eta c has got the least of all the three efficiencies and we say that the efficiency of this particular riveted joint is 55.37 and the mode of failure of this particular joint is by the crushing of plates or rivets. Friends, I hope you are all convinced with the presentation I have made on a problem of this type that is a bird giant with two cover plates of equal weights. Friends, if you are happy with the presentation I have made and if you really find this is of some use to the students and the faculty who are teaching this subject, do subscribe to my channel.